All right, howdy cowdies, I hope you're going good. This is Adam's weekly walkabout take two. I was almost finished then and realized I'd gone over 15 minutes and YouTube doesn't like, like uploading videos longer than 15 minutes. So let's do this quick. Really nice collection of paperweights, white fries, St. Louis, Caithness, and this Baccarat one in the front. Amazing little perfume bottle set there and it's Victorian cup crystal fitted little bag. Abraham Palatnik, Perspex Owls, Richard Clemens perfume bottles over the back. What else have we got? Another lovely little sort of travelling perfume bottle set in its fitted leather case. Some mint box, matchbox, Lesney ones. Another nice sterling silver atomizer. Some politically incorrect playing cards. Little miniature Chanel's, more matchbox. So these are really nice, a little sort of mother of pearl gaming and gambling tokens. Victorian games box or games table is a lovely bit with a lift over top, all inlaid and sort of spins around. You've got drawers coming out the front as well. Nice pair of Victorian style lamps, big blackwood pedestal, auto trolleys, the Marx Brothers, another big Victorian style lamp and lampshades, another nice group. Uh, Chinese wedding attire, pretty cool old jamboree shirt with some other ephemera, old newspapers, cases, grog, kitchen stuff, including the Fowler's Vicola bottles, mixed group lot, industrial lighting, stools, cool oil paintings, 1980s sort of minimalist stuff by John Samarina, I think, Samarine. Yes, we've got a little mixed lot of furniture, a little stepped bookcase, a little group lot, pretty china, DVDs and stuff. An old John Sands Australian made Magic Castle sort of kids set. Audio gear, pretty cool old 1970s GE Diplomat stereo system. Looks to be pretty good. What else have we got? Heaps of coins and stuff in this cabinet. Coins with some watches and banknotes. Good little lot of blokey gear, cigarette lighters, pipes, fob watches and cufflinks and stuff. More coins, carved bone, cigarette holder and other stuff. Ladies jewellery. More coins, cigarette holders, sterling silver. More commemorative coins. Another big lot of coins. Three nice decorative oil paintings, about 1910, 1920. Travelling trunks. Suitcases, nice old leather ones. What else have we got? Little collection of furniture, cool old single door locker, some big fireplace over mantles, and a nice fire curb. Right, what else have we got? The nice big industrial clothes rack in the back there. Got another good lot of 45 RPMs, the monkeys, daddy cool, and some other good stuff in amongst. Stamps. CDs, nice big 1950s fire screen, cool little sort of 1970s student desk. These are all sort of strap-on ice skates. Some industrial style lamps, sort of interrogation. The Rider Z, 1970s dragster bike, pretty amazing. With the chain guard, it's got all the Tough wheels and all the bloody lights and speedos and stuff hanging off it. Here's a ripper. Nice little set of four, two pairs actually of emu back chairs. Unusual little sort of emu backs pressed into them. Got some nice paintings this week. Big Gwelder Pike oil of bicycles in China. What else have we got? John Canning oil, I think of the Billabong and Tokem oil. Alex Lewis oil of Mount Connor. In Northern Territory, it's not as rock or Uluru. Franz Kempf. This is a watercolour by Barry Dickens. I could have sworn that said Barry Chickens the other day. Guy Gray Smith. Robert Ingpen watercolour, which is a ripper of Big Lizzie, the biggest tractor ever made in Australia. And the nice big Gwelder Pike. Ray Woods. These are interesting, little modern sort of oil paintings of Prague, nighttime scenes in Prague. 
They're both signed and dated, titled as well. And a nice little set of four uh, mixed media Salvador Dalis with the, all bearing the signatures and all saying EM lower left. I don't know what that means. But they're a nice little group, they are. So there's some good paintings this week. Big Cupid doll, some footy and other sports gear. Some signed records, Mark Holden, Max Bygraves. Huh? And another Max Bygraves. So you can have one for you and give one to your partner or something. Jazz singles, Models of Yesteryear, Beatles albums, Scale Extrix, more Matchbox, perfume bottles, set of Olympic Heritage Matchbox Models of Yesteryear, nice group of super fast Matchbox, all mint in their boxes, atomizers, kind of like the arts and crafts bucket, planter, whatever you want to use it for, reproduction gig posters, screen printed, Pretty cool circus poster in there, Soul Brothers Circus. Nice little collection of vintage perfume bottles. More Matchbox, more Matchbox, more Beatles, more Scale Extrix, Victorian Wax Boudoir Doll. Nice little perfume bottles, I think there's damage on the green one. Matchbox BP Tanker. The Scale Extrix, it's the rip of this, the Mercedes Wankel. And I know you'll be chuckling about the wankle part, but it's a rotary engine in a Mercedes. That's a pretty wacky thing. That's kind of cool. More Matchbox, cool old yo-yos, the blue Fanta, little Matchbox Sunbeam 1914, some cool Britons, including the little lead um, blacksmith, Sunny Boys limited edition yellow vinyl, Bunny Yeager's pin-up girl book, Nick Cave record in a book, Decorative oil paintings, more matchbox, costume jewellery, nice bits of mid-century, the anodized pear ice bucket. It's got their little aluminium lid inside and the nice signed Perluck and Home Guard. Some records with cool sort of nude covers, Imari pattern or coloured set, nice collection of Bing and Grundle, another nice lot of perfume bottles, moustache cups, atomizers, more moustache cups. Nice Bakelite industrial light fitting, made by Duprite. Set of six matchbox models of Estia, Taste of France. Australian books. I think this one's signed by the, art, uh, the author. And this is nice, the old Magic Australia by Nuri and Celeste Mars. Corning wear. Costume. More moustache cups. More matchbox. Some nice Joy, Jean Patou Joy perfume. Stromberg shite and signed glass paperweight. Skeleton clock. More matchbox, all Japanese sports cars. It's a great lot. The old little hardcover Thomas the Tank Engine books. Biggles and the Leopards of Zin. Nice crystal perfumes. More matchbox. Four decks of tarot cards. Hand-painted snuff bottles. Miniature sets of perfume. Some nice studio pottery. What else we got walking sticks, two pair or two sets of four really good quality sort of wine glasses, some more blue and white Bing and Grundle, more blue and white Bing and Grundle, little Scottish crystal thistle shaped decanters and the glasses, deco style lamp, 80s repop but nice thing, heavy crystal perfume bottles, another nice little collection of Bing and Grundle, Japanese watercolors quite nice. Japanese woodblock's nice as well, actually. Um, art glass perfume bottle. I think this is Sean O'Donoghue one. And we've got nice little yellow ones, kind of quite nice. The Victorian sort of gilt ormolu. Nice collection of Victorian glass. The jug and the pair of glasses and the other jug. This is all sort of 1880s, give or take, perfume bottles. Some cool retro plastic cube containers. Some sort of retro chrome-plated, nickel-plated thermoses and a nice soda siphon. A couple of nice bits of sort of flash-cut glass as well, although I don't know about that stopper being right. Art Deco. Art Deco. What do we got? Kitty Breeden. These are pretty amazing. Sort of 1880, give or take, perfume bottle set there. 
The stopper is off one. World War One Queen Mary, I think, Christmas tin. Art Deco, 1930s, Guerlain perfume bottle in its original box. These are nice big heavy cut crystal perfume bottles. Nice set of the Ruby Flash wine glasses. These are great little sort of condiment sets. Little novelty woofer dogs. Good old Bonzo over the back. Maureen Williams, two bits of her. Australian glass. Okra art glass perfume bottle. Nice little oriental carved wooden display stand. Really nice. Uh, temple dogs, faux dogs. Baccarat, Caithness, really nice, the sort of amber cut, and they're nice, the two 1930s Art Deco glass vases, I think that serves French porcelain, nice bit of malachite, top shelf, some good stuff, kind of like these, they're modern Minton, nice little pair of the Minton perfume bottles, Cartonware Rouge Royale coffee set, another nice bit of American glass by Okra, Little Dalton vase, I think Australian is the name of it, or one from the Australian series. And a nice Dalton vase, all hand-painted blue and white. What else have we got? Uranium glass Victorian, but the stopper is fixed. <laughs> but it glows, lights up under, uh, under a UV light, just like this little one does. And we've got some more nice perfume bottles with the Millefiori bases of the Millefiori stopper. Le leak. It is there is damage around the top though of the actual bottle, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, another little Le leak one. Nice bit again, the German porcelain figural vase. Sean O'Donoghue again, Australian art glass, tree of life. And this pretty amazing French gilt ormolu perfume bottle again. Pretty amazing thing. But there you go, guys. That'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. You know, I don't care if you did or if you didn't. Anyway, see you on Thursday night.